with the Blackjack 42 on the block. All right, I've had a lot of requests to get this boat back out and on the water. This boat is 12S capable now. Okay, I've actually run it three separate occasions on 12S. <laughs> and uh, the very last time I ran it, I demagnetized my rotor my on my motor. I demagnetized this rotor. I didn't have a program box for this Flyer 400. And anytime you max out a D-wind motor voltage, the, t the timing has to be low like basically on zero so i didn't have a, a, a way to do that last time i put 12s on it nothing got hot actually it's actually kind of insane nothing got hot uh it basically um when i would give it full trigger the motor would go like have a whine like like a screech sound i knew what i did when i did it it just demagnetized the magnet. So I've got a program box, TP power. We're going to rebuild the motor, reinstall the motor, bench, test it, and we're not taking it out in this video. Stick around. Big B, what I include RC. I got the right program box. Um, I actually got this program box from Sea Deucer Boats down in Florida. Uh, it's a custom boat builder. He, he builds like race boats, monos, uh, hydros, I guess. But um, it was like the closest option. <laughs> so uh, so I went ahead and, 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 and went with um, Sea Deucer for my flyer program box. All right, and that's it. This little box would have saved me about 120 bucks. So I, and all you really need, I needed to do was go down on my timing. Um, I knew the timing was set high on that ESC, but I ran it anyway, you know? So, and it actually, uh, it actually, we actually got like 92 mile an hour with a terrible timing. So I'm actually pretty stoked about it. Um, nonetheless, I, you know, uh, and I, I went ahead and ordered some prop nuts. There's their that's who I got it from, Seducer Boats. Okay, he has some hardware props, some electronics, you know, just in-house. Check them out. I'll link it up in the description. Uh, this is my, my rotor from TP Power. Big box just for a rotor. <laughs> Yeah, that's a CM motor. It's not the same as a regular motor. And I actually emailed, I actually emailed TP Power because I was, uh, I was thinking, you know, I've got that 4070 CM. I was thinking, hey, I'm going to put a SCM or SVM rotor in that motor and see what kind of change it does what kind of change it gives me so i instead of spending 140 dollars on a rotor that i wasn't sure would work um I, I emailed i emailed tp power about putting a svm rotor in a cm motor and they said it would not work well for one they can't warranty it you know what i'm saying and two they said the magnets don't line up the shaft and where the magnets placed it doesn't exactly line up in the stator so uh i mean it can be done i'm sure but just hearing that from tp power it turned me off almost dropped my brand new freaking rotor it turned me off of uh attempting to put an svm rotor in a cm motor which i know it could be done flow pack uh he actually has done it with success and changed the kv value on the motor upgrading to a, a different rotor i've played around with cm and regular a regular rotor will work in a cm motor but you lose rpm uh yeah so that's the rotor let me quit jacking my jaws <laughs> all right let's go ahead and change the rotor out okay so it's actually really simple i've done 
I, well, this is probably about my fourth rotor I've bought for TP Motors in the past, oh, seven years I've been running TP Power. Uh, like, this is like four, it might be four, maybe not five. I think I've bought four of them. A lot of times when you push a boat and you, not just CM motors, regular motors, you're pushing it, you go up in timing. Uh, up in the timing, I've noticed on any motor will 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 demagnetize the the magnet before the motor even gets hot. I've 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 noticed that. Well, especially these higher quality TP motors. Uh, okay, so we don't want to lose any bushings okay so one just fell out yeah I knew there was four all together I was about to say okay so put our shims on so I guess before you know you rebuild your motor just check out the windings make sure they're not black or burnt you know this motor has never gotten over 150 degrees uh my first run well my first and second run with it yeah about 150 degrees was my hottest temp so it's a brand new motor she's brand spanking new so a lot of times you can pull these wire sheets back if possible or uh you could pull this end of the wire sheath back and look at the wire make sure that's not burnt before you rebuild it no sense in rebuilding a burn up motor you know you'll know you'll know if it's if it's burnt up so i'm gonna actually put one little shim i don't remember the orientation a big one and then the little one on the back really don't want this thing to suck in there you don't want to lose those shims so keep it upright like that so the shims don't fall off okay Hell, that rotor could be good, and I just, hell, the ESC might be bad. I don't know. <laughs> we're going to see. One of these days, we're actually going to put the Hydra on this 1400 kV CM motor and test the difference of the 400 amp flyer compared to the hydra uh the hydra it don't run 12s so running this motor on the hydra on 8s and running it in or with the 400 flyer on 8s we're going to pull a lot more amps than we'll be pulling on 12s so running this 1400 kV CM motor on 12S in this heavy boat kind of reduces some of the amp draw, amp, you know, pull. I usually just take my motor out with the four screws on the side of this mount right here. It just makes it easier, you know, so I don't, well, usually you don't have to move this grease coupler, this grease catch right there, you know, I usually just break those four off pretty simple I'm just gonna mount it back in the boat okay and put my little brace back on all right so this is a monster coupler right here eight millimeter to two point two five oh okay uh, this this guy right here it's it, it'll pull out it's replaceable okay it's from zip kits and uh, I haven't had any issue with this coupler it's been great all right, so I just don't want to forget my Loctite there. I'm going to get it lined up on this 8 millimeter shaft. I like getting a little bit of blue Loctite on my shaft. Not much, just enough to kind of keep it in place. I think if I remember right, it needs to be pushed all the way to the back. Or I guess forward on the motor shaft on the flat spot. get it good and tight I'm not going to get it good and tight with this one I've got to use a T6 star bit 
That's my best fitting. Oh boy, did you guys see that? I just rammed that that star bit into my finger. Oh, uh, uh, uh. All right. So this is a this is a tip, and I've actually told you guys this in the past, and I know better. I was holding this like that, going to go tighten it up, put it on the table, <laughs> on a piece of foam so it don't move and and. And keep your fingers away from it. <laughs> All right. Like I said, it's a journey. And you guys can learn from my mistakes. Okay. That's why I have my channel. It's a journey. It's a journey that we all take together. We pull. We learn from each other. Okay. So I need to go get this bandaged up. Because I just stabbed myself pretty freaking good. All right. Let me go get this fixed up. Great googly moogly boy. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, my dad always said if you're gonna be dumb, you better be tough, boy. And uh, I'm one tough son of a gun. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> Cause I'm dumb as hell. <laughs> oh boy, how how many of you guys done that? In the comments, drop it below. That exact same thing. How many of you guys have done that? Mm. All right, I've done it several times. I ain't even gonna lie. Ain't no sense to lie to you boys. Ain't no sense. Actually, boys and girls, um, let's see. I've got, uh, what is it? 94% of my viewers are male. Let's see. I think it was 5% female and 1% unspecified have no idea what that means but uh i appreciate everybody watching the channel it, it means a lot to me you know oh the boat and hobby so amazing and I, I just like sharing it with you guys blood and all all right so we got that mounted up okay i left these guys here a little loose so i can drop that in to our motor mount and then i can adjust it up and down if needed when needed all right let's go yep my son's over here working on his boat <laughs> i've actually been working on getting well i actually got the 35 ready for the water he he got a boo-boo too let me see your boo-boo look we got matching boo-boos <laughs> Yeah, this little thing right here comes in handy. It keeps all my little Allens organized. I used to keep all my Allens on an old on an old rotor, but they, they, they kept falling off here and there. So I made this little Allen pin cushion or a hex cushion, I guess I could call it. Okay, so I've um so I got my, my throttle hooked up. I've got this um, Life or Lithium Ion, I guess, Lithium Ion battery in my auxiliary battery channel because the 400 flyer does not come with a BEC, okay, battery eliminator circuit. So we have to have a battery to power our receiver, all right? Um, I'm going to plug in my servo, which I just did, and... I'm not getting any. Oh, oh, okay. It loosened itself up. So it was actually completely locked up. And I was uh, about to pull the servo out, pull the cap off, grease the bearing, un unseize it. So that's good to go. Okay. So I got this throttle channel hooked up. <clears throat> Let's make sure I got it right. I always double check before I plug in batteries. Um, so we got this is for the program box i'm sure this goes to the rx i've got positive yep so that's good i got my motors hooked up for the time being i don't have them pushed all the way in so i can change motor direction so 
4s and 4s, that's 8s. Okay, so I need to change the motor direction on my, on my transmitter for some reason. On reverse, so we're going to go back to normal. Yes. So. That sounds good. I think I have the right polarity. <clears throat> so um, let's actually hook this guy right here up. Oh man, did I get the wrong one? One, two, three, four. I got the wrong box. What is this for? There's a four wire connector here, four male here. So I'm actually a freaking re re. <laughs> um, you got you guys see it has male. The box has male. I looked it up and this goes to a, a USB dongle so you actually just pull out that little adapter and you're able to plug in your program box okay so this is actually marked black red white yellow okay so make sure you get the right polarity here very important using a six volt uh, battery or BEC battery and uh, this one is 7.4 so uh, I've got a 6 volt one right here. Well, it's not 6 volt. It goes past 6 volts, but it's actually at 6 volts right now. So this should be perfect. Just don't want to take any chances. I'm sure I could use that life battery. It'd probably be fine. It's like right at 8 volts right now. Oh, no, no. Well, 4, 4, 8. Yeah, right at 8 volts, I guess. So um, we're going to plug this into the receiver, which this was the original reason I bought this battery. was for my receiver on this boat but it this pack didn't last long enough like it it only lasts like one run whereas these guys right here last two so i actually need to get a, a bec i want to get a bec for it all right so it came on okay so let's go through i want to see what the timing was set at let's see if you guys can see it yeah so we're on boat get familiar with our box here okay for reverse I'm gonna turn that off all right I don't care for reverse especially not on this boat startup power auto let's see what the options are five percent So startup power I think I'm gonna run it let's do uh, it's it's auto and um, I think there was a little if I remember right there was a little like lag oh so it was at three oh so I want to go 50% start power we'll start there we'll take the box with us we can program it on the fly so our timing was at three three degrees which for a delta wine motor that's not too bad and i can't believe i smoked that rotor well not smoked it demagnetized the rotor damn timing to go up to 30 come on <laughs> so we need to get us a y wine motor for this bad boy a low like a thousand kv y wine come on that's what we're gonna do that's what we're going to do. We're going to go to zero. So it was at three, and then we're going to go to zero. That makes a huge difference, especially when you're shooting 54 volts to, to a motor. You know what I'm saying? All right. Eight kilo. Okay, that's good. Acceleration. Let's see what our option Hard acceleration. Soft. So let's 
let's go with medium. That's where it was. It felt pretty good with those two or three times I ran it. Okay, lipo, that's good. That where it was. Number of cells, auto, we'll keep that. Cut off. Okay, it goes up to 3.6 just to make sure I got plenty of voltage to get home with we'll, we'll go to 3.5 cut off type we'll do slow down throttle curve linear power limit for forward It's actually got a lot of freaking items you can program. Man, I wish all, all ESCs had this many items that you could actually go through and program. Like, I have a couple ESCs you can't even, you can't even program the timing on. And it that really sucks. It really does. Um, so I think that's good. Okay, so I unplugged everything, and then I plugged everything back in, and my settings were not saved i just saved them so i'm actually going to i'm actually gonna uh i'm gonna change something up here i'm gonna go 95 percent there and then we're gonna go and save it you gotta send it you gotta send it to the esc so in order to do that you just mash the these two buttons at the same time sending data to esc okay and that'll save it okay i'm glad i checked that so always check make sure you send your data to your speed control after programming some you save some you don't you know it just depends on what box you're using what speed control all right so uh, i think we got it so i'm gonna disconnect everything then we're gonna power it back on i'm gonna I think it's my batteries, my 12S batteries, which I'll be running these batteries here in, in this boat in series and in my um, my animal and uh, pair, you know, 6S, 6S. Big box just for, big ass box just for one little pack of batteries. That's freaking insane. So, um, I never did do a review on these because I was re like ready to get the animal out. So we're actually going to do a comparison in the animal with the 6200s. We're going to compare those 6200s to these Z5200. These are 120C. These are 90C. These are lighter. This is actually the recommended size battery for the animal. Anything over 5,000, anything over that 5,000, 5,200 milliamp weight in the Animal Twin, or any boat, really, for that matter, it's really kind of dead weight, and I kind of proved that. Um, well, not really, not really. If you got a heavy quality pack, like, like, like say, an SMC, like a heavy quality discharge pack, and the battery's not too awful heavy, uncalled for heavy in your boat. Uh, it'll be okay. But if if the pack is is just heavy and it don't have a good discharge, like I like just say, um, oh I don't know, I don't know. Uh, just to, you know, you know what I'm saying. Like if you have a heavy pack in any particular boat, I guess I kind of proved. That the center of gravity weight distribution is crucial with a heavier battery. If you have it too far forward, it'll actually pull more amps from your ESC. You know what I'm saying, so um, 
so I'm thinking that these um that these may actually be pretty good in in this boat. Both packs would actually be good, but 12s since I'm running a 1400 kV motor on 12s in a large boat with decent sized props i'm thinking that the 5200 6s pack right here is going to be better okay so i'm actually going to weigh these out all right so what did the boat weigh 10 pounds without battery so 10 pounds without battery one of these weighs 1.7 one of these weighs one one five okay one pound 15 ounces so both of these weigh two pounds 14 ounces both of these weigh right at four pounds i'm sure yep almost four pounds okay so uh instead of having a 14 pound boat we'll have a 12 pound a little over 12 pound boat so that extra pound with that higher kv high performance motor it's going to make a huge difference in speed okay uh, so we're going to run these in here i'd really like to get a set of these for it okay uh, i really want to get a set of these for my animal and i just got to get my funds right so 1.7 114 okay so so this is actually lighter than the 6200s by about eight grams and these so these 8600s 4s packs are actually heavier than the cnhl 6s pack so my weight distribution with this and this should be about right for this boat uh because it likes a forward cg especially what i'm trying for like 90 plus so uh definitely gonna run these two sets in this boat 12s 8s i got my motor wires heat shrunk i got them zip tied okay uh the the esc is velcroed down double side taped uh i put an extension on my receiver to my lithium ion battery okay um that way i don't have to open this box every time i plug in my, my my bec battery i'm using that flow pack rx cat pack to keep a constant voltage to my servo okay and um got the motor mounted up i got the motor lined i greased my shaft all my screws are loctited that's going into aluminum blue loctite i got my cooling line in hooked up i use this motor water jacket as a as a, a shim in this 46 millimeter motor mount it so works perfect this is a rc boat bits water jacket okay and it works perfect on a 40 series motor to shim it up and keep the back supported so we're gonna uh hook up these 5200s okay and i'm gonna listen to the motor like i said it had a screech and the, and the screech was really at high like full throttle on 12s it didn't screech at full throttle on 8s so i went through and double checked all my work before i'm plugging in 222.2 volts 50.4 volts fully charged 12s 6s and 6s gonna disconnect my anti-spark wire when i plug these batteries in i still gotta order qs 8s for this set of packs and that set of packs i'm just gonna have to deal with it for the next month because i don't use like my everyday walking around money for my boats i use my youtube pay one of the reasons i started my youtube channel to help people with their boats also to make money for my hobby my little lady don't let me spend the bill money on boats, so I, I use my, my YouTube money. I use the YouTube, I put it back into the channel, so you guys help more more ways than you can even imagine. All right, so um, let's go. <laughs> oh, I missed this boat. We're only going to pull it up a couple times on the bench because it'll get my stuffing tube and stuff hot. Full trigger on the bench. 
So um, we're going to actually take it out to the pool so we can rev it up a couple times. Mm, 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 mm. All right, so I see you at the pool. My, my nightmare of a test tank. <laughs> um, this is actually crucial. If, you, uh, if you're testing out a drive line or you're spooling up a motor, remember how we were doing it on the bench? You can just do it for a split second on the bench and you know your stuffing tube will get hot. Your stinger, your strut will warm up on the bench. Um, any any particular boat it actually needs to be put in water to be able to kind of hold full trigger and uh do some some testing i'm actually out here making sure i don't have any leaks before i take it to the river uh, this boat right here is really bad for leaking around that through hole right there for the stuff to so i can actually hold full trigger for a couple seconds without worrying about my drive line uh, extra wear, unnecessary wear, heat uh, in the pool. Ready so. to go on this boat. Um, I do need to swap out my receiver. I was getting some interference when I give it throttle. My servo was glitching over, even with the Flow, flow Pack RX Cat Pack. I have a glitch buster on one of my boats. I'll actually try that before I switch it out. But this re this receiver has been completely submerged in salt water, and um, it's got some interference. So I'll sort that out. No leaks, it's ready to go. Um, I've been working on those props that I ran last video for the animal. Instead of backing off on one prop, I actually matched the less aggressive prop up with the more aggressive. So they're even hotter. I'm thinking I had one prop so hot it was wanting to carry the whole boat, unloading the other motor so much that it just power cut. So both of them should be equal so hopefully hopefully we'll get a better speed it's it's hard to to take bend out it's easier to put bend in so i just matched them up aggressively uh that one i'm working on still i'm waiting on my soldering iron to come in so i can solder this safely uh got the delta force ready 200 amp ztw with a 4074 leopard 1730 uh this one i've got a bunch of props coming probably got four sets of abc props on the way um dominator's going back out got to get that one going like i said and uh that one up there we got to get esc so um hopefully you guys enjoyed the video i know it was long happy easter we'll see you guys next time don't forget to like comment subscribe super thanks big b we're ironclad rc